What's good, family and friends of Takesta and Jones? So this is our last day in Rwanda and Kigali, and we're just gonna go from here to Kenya. We're on our way to the airport, and bam, we are at the airport. And look at this mess here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. They're right here at the distillery, or at the, uh, you know, maybe they had a lot of whiskey, Jen, I don't know. Maybe they're tired, but I, I don't know why they just on the floor with no cover, no nothing. It is crazy. Anyway, we left from Kigali Airport to headed to Nairobi. Um, and then after we get to Nairobi, we're headed to Mombasa. So our flight from Kigali was at like 8, I think. So we woke up at like 6. And then our flight from uh, Nairobi to Mombasa is like in the afternoon. And here we are in Nairobi on our way to get on our next flight to Mombasa. And going to Mombasa, we have to go through Nairobi. So our flight from Kigali to Nairobi lasted for about an hour and 45 minutes. And we like the Nairobi airport. However, the terminal that goes from Nairobi to Mombasa and I wish there was more choices to eat. But we got on the plane, uh, it was a nice day. Uh, I'm on the plane, we're sitting next to each other and we got caught up in this conversation. I'm the legal, I'm the, I'm the legal, I'm the, that lady I'm not related to her. She's just a friend, yes. A friend. She's just a friend. I, I don't know, for, for some, that is not relevant, she's just a friend. But the things moving out of the house, I have not given permission. We are talking to the tenant of the house. Yes. You can go and check with the owner of the house who is the, who is the legal tenant. And I'm the tenant and I've not given permission for things. Okay, so no drama, no tea. Just a guy who owns a house and was clearing up some stuff between a tenant and somebody else. But anyway, <laughs> we made it to Mombasa. And once we got here, I realized I forgot my Kenyan shillings back in the States. So I had to go find an ATM machine to get in a taxi. And here we are finally in our taxi and we are just enjoying the sights of Mombasa until we get to the beach. This is uh, the old, old Mombasa, old town. So I love old town Mombasa. I love the old district. I love seeing just the old structures, people out all the time, and the diversity of the features of the people. You know, it's like a melting pot. It's a small melting pot within a melting pot. Um, and of course, there's always traffic. I don't know, th this it's really vibrant. For some reason, I feel really at home. Like I, I really just, I just love driving around this area. We're on our way to get some injera from this uh, Eritrean place. We featured it on the first day of our trip. If you go back and look through our videos, um, you'll see the place that we went to before. It was so good, we had to go back again because like I said, we were hungry today. We couldn't find anything that was really good in the uh, old terminal in Nairobi. So. That is going to be our dinner for today. We're going to eat it as soon as we get to the hotel. So it took a, a while. It took a, about a couple of hours because the driver got lost. And that's to be expected. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's just a different thing with this new, these new technologies. And people are used to just knowing places by the name and by certain buildings or whatnot. So... Um, we are finally going to head to uh, Niali, which is where the um, resort that we're going to stay at for the last night. So we made it to the Muthu 
uh, Niali Beach Hotel and Spa. This is a great hotel. It's a good pick. I suggest uh, everybody go and it's not too expensive and it looks, I mean, the, the grounds are very well kept. Uh, the hotel is nice. No complaints. Uh, there's a lot of people um, at the hotel while we're staying. It looks like people from everywhere. It's kind of got a fun and uh, like a fun environment. And as you can see, this is the inside of the lobby. Lots of places to relax or just lounge or just, you know, just chill out and hang out. I was very surprised um, from what we saw online. It didn't look like this at all. So with that being said, I'm giving a impromptu tour of the grounds at nighttime. Enjoy.
get a Long Island iced tea. Maybe two of them. So I didn't end up getting two. I got one. And I promptly took it out of the bar because there was nobody in there but me and the bartender. So I decided to go look around and uh, possibly find a place where I can just relax with my drink and get some fresh air because it's been a long day. And Takeste is not feeling well. So she's in the room while I'm out here just, you know, just enjoying some peace time and uh, some relaxation since she doesn't drink anyway. I wanted to come out and get a drink. So cheers, everyone. <laughs> okay, it's the next morning. And let me tell you, there is nothing like waking up to a view like this. I mean, it is just beautiful, just gorgeous. Um, I had a great night. We had a great night. Uh, the bed is comfortable. The room had the AC going. Uh, Takeste doesn't like the AC, <laughs> but, you know, I sweat at night. But here is the view, and it's just like I saw on the website when I booked the hotel, so I was happy about that because, you know, sometimes you don't really get what you see on the internet until you actually see it yourself. So, uh, will I get breakfast this morning? No, I think I'm just gonna just go and uh, show you guys more of the grounds and more of the beach because we still have a couple of hours before we have to leave. So, not doing too much today. Just gonna look around, walk around, and check out the sights, and then look for a taxi and head to the airport. So as I was saying, uh, I love the uh, architecture of this hotel, especially the woodwork and the arches. And there is a, a Muthu Hotel in Nairobi. We have to visit that one. But you got your, you know, you got your wildlife right here you got the beach you got the indian ocean right here uh this is a good this is a good um pick so this uh hotel was open first in 1946 and it was even back then it was touted as a architectural marvel um they go on to say like the colonial past and the glory of kenya uh it kind of encompasses all of that Along with the panoramic views of the ocean, this place is like a landmark of Mombasa. So it says uh, we are located about 1.9 kilometers from Nyali Golf Club and about nine kilometers from Mombasa City Center. Um, and uh, the airport is only like less than 20 uh, kilometers away from us. But look at all this artwork. It's just gorgeous. Hi, brother. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? How much is the uh, taxi to the airport? Two thousand five hundred. What time are you? When are you? Um, I'm just gonna leave after check out. Uh, what time? Uh, ten o'clock. What's your number? Uh, what's Your number is. Oh. Okay. Okay, well, that was good. That worked out. So, guys, if you are at this hotel, Muthu, uh, you and you don't have enough uh, local currency for the taxis, they don't mind taking you to an air to an ATM machine, or you can pay in foreign currency, whatever kind of currency you have, you can pay the equivalent. So that was really, um, really good to hear.
and folks, it's about, I would say like seven-ish in the morning. And if you haven't been to this part of Africa, man, you're in for such a treat when you actually come. Uh, let me give you an interesting fact about Mombasa. So it was the first capital of British East Africa before Nairobi was elevated to capital status in 1907. It now serves as the capital of Mombasa uh, County. Now, the town is also known as the white and blue city in Kenya. I don't know what that means, but if anybody in the comments can tell us, please do in the comments. And if you if you love animals uh, without going on safari, you're going to see a lot of these monkeys um, there everywhere. So the kind of monkeys that are in Mombasa are uh, they call them ver vervet monkeys and they're found in most parts of the country, actually. So if you want to visit uh, Abidare or Mount Kenya with uh, African Mecca to see Sykes ver uh, vervet and black and white colobos uh, monkeys. I always have trouble saying that. But the Sykes monkeys are also found in Nairobi Park and South Coast Mombasa Coastal Forest. And you see the spa. So that's what I really love about uh, being in uh, Mombasa and Kenya in general is the spas. You can't get like a better spa with the environment and the backdrop and the the weather and the just the sights it makes the spa uh that much more enjoyable And just like that, we're on the beach. This is Niali Beach, the world famous Niali Beach. <laughs> um, well, I, th I guess the world famous beach is probably Diani, but we like Niali Beach. It's not a bad beach. Um, interesting fact about Niali Beach. Um, what can I remember? Oh, Niali Beach in Kenya is... Uh, it's in a residential area, so it's connected to Mombasa Island by the new Niali Bridge. Niali is also known for its high-class hotels and beautiful residential houses along the long white sand beaches. And that makes it another uh, reason to visit Niali Beach. And I also like that there's a, you know, a family vibe on this beach. Because I see mostly most families uh, walking around in this beach or couples. Um, there's not too many people trying to sell you things or, you know, trying to just, um, you know, bug you or bother you. Well, part of Niali Beach does have that. I, I got to say it. probably every beach around on Kenya has that element but this part in particular it could be uh, private I'm not sure but it's uh, just refreshing to just walk on the beach and not have to you know try to not not have somebody try to sell you something every minute now they could be coming later on that day today I don't know but early this morning it's a pretty nice walk just to get some exercise and some fresh air and some of that, um, you know, some of that ocean water. It's just a lovely, um, refreshing way to start the morning.
like how beautiful and serene this beach is, even though there's a lot of people. And so lovely. Strictly in paradise. It's like, what is it like? About nine o'clock in the morning. Just having a little stroll before I head to the hotel. I wish I can get in the water, but I don't feel like cleaning sand off my off everything. I'm gonna enjoy myself too much and might miss my flight. But that wouldn't be a bad thing. Wouldn't be a bad thing to be stuck here. Enjoy the view. Uh, another thing that makes Niali special is its tourist potential. So Niali is uh, renowned for its tourist potential uh, thanks to its calm water. You know, this water is always calm, it's very swimmable. Uh, its accommodation facilities and its coast bordered with the white sand beaches protected by a coral reef is just loved by divers. This is part of the Mombasa Marine Reserve managed by Kenya Wildlife Service. Coconuts. Where are they? Oh, there they go. You know us, we love our spas and this uh, Rejuve Spa. We didn't uh, have a chance to try it since this is only like a one day like layover. But we heard um, reviews that it's, they the reviews were like anywhere from moderate to uh, good to okay to, uh, you know, some improvements are needed, but they do have Indian Ayurvedic um, treatments plus some other international treatments. So maybe we'll try it uh, next time. Another, another pool. I've seen an Olympic size swimming pool and now this pool right by the beach. Nice, and a bar. Dumbo. Remember <laughs> Sit right over here and have a drink. Or a few. I'm 
I'm really liking this area. I should have came out here last night. This looks like it'll be a nice place to hang out on a Friday or Saturday night. Yeah, we have to do that next time also. going on with that window monkey came straight out of there oh this place is tore down wonder what that is over there could be a monkey paradise monkey enclave Okay, I've uh, gotten through most of the grounds, going back to a couple of the, of the pools, back to the main area of the hotel. And again, um, Mombasa is like a little island in between Mombasa County and the area where the airport is. So Niali is like right outside of Old Town, Mombasa. So I have seen a lot of foreign seniors around here. Um, <laughs> we got, I, when we first came to um, Kenya and, well, Mombasa, yeah, we did see a lot of these old uh, foreign men with these young Kenyan women, and we knew what time it was. <laughs> Just looking. So this gym is pretty big. I mean, it, it's kind of one of the biggest gyms for a hotel that I've seen. And they have their own trainers here too. Looks like they got their own trainer. And last night they were doing some kind of aerobics. So here's, uh, you can do stretching, you can do yoga. Um, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with the equipment and the amount of weights, free weights they have. 
just all the uh, equipment in general. that I didn't <laughs> partake of the buffet because you know us we are always at the buffets but I didn't have an appetite this morning or last night really but um, there's always another time there's always next time Okay, so we have about 30 minutes until we have to get in a taxi to make it to the airport about two to three hours uh, before liftoff and waiting for uh, to Keste. And so once she's ready, we're going to head to the airport. And all in all, the uh, Muthu Hotel and Niali, it's a pretty nice hotel. It's really good for, uh, you know, one night because um, that's all we had here. <laughs> so I, I think we could stay here for a couple of days. So it's pretty good. You know, I, I'll give it about a, I don't know, six or seven out of ten. Maybe a six out of ten. And that's only with me staying one day. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, as always, stay decent, folks. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.